Hi. So somebody on Reddit said that I should look into flywheel batteries. And that's a pretty good idea for a windmill, but I don't think it would work. Um, but let me explain why. So a flywheel is just a heavy wheel that you attach to an axis of rotation so that the inertia from its spinning will keep it spinning. There's a whole bunch of applications, but that's basically the idea. Here's some videos of some spinning tops that I made earlier today, and I'll overlay them on top of me talking. You'll notice that the smallest one spins very fast, but it doesn't spin for that long of a time because it can't hold that much force. The one that's very wide and very heavy spins for quite a long time, albeit slower, but it spins so much faster that it makes it worth it. So if I understand this comment correctly, what he's saying is along the axis of rotation of the windmill blades, I should add a big heavy wheel right here, so that in the event that the wind stops blowing intermittently, the power of the wheel can keep it spinning, or it can store some of its energy in the wheel. Again, this is a good idea, but the reason I don't think it would work is because these windmills rely on having a great big wind collecting surface area. This is a tangent, but you can tell the wood that I'm using isn't very high quality because the laminate's coming off and it looks kind of funky. So anyway, back to the point. You think about these large wind collecting surfaces here, right? If you were to spin this fan, it's basically a fan, right? If you were to spin it manually rather than having it be spun by the wind, it would create a pretty large volume of wind or of air being pushed behind it because these fan blades are so large, right? So the problem with adding a flywheel is if we add a flywheel, it's going to spend some of the time pushing air rather than collecting energy from the wind. Right, so it's going to spend some of the energy, it's gonna collect all this energy, and then some of it is going to be spent on pushing air, which is, I would consider an inefficiency. It may help to smooth out the charge that's coming out of the, uh, the motor, but I don't think that that would be useful compared to the drawbacks of spending this energy that we collected just to push air when the wind stops blowing. If the wind stops blowing intermittently, then what's gonna happen is, yes, the flywheel battery is going to force the shaft to keep spinning and thus still generating electricity, but the cost of which being that it's going to spend a lot of this energy moving air behind it when there's none blowing in front of it. So all of the energy that we just collected, all, all of that kinetic energy that we just harvested from the wind is now being spent to push air behind the windmill, which is kind of pointless. So I, I think you would end up overall, I mean, no doubt, the current that's coming out of the stepper motor would be more consistent, right? Because there's less fluctuations in the, uh, the road, in the speed, right? It would, it would spin more consistently, but I don't think that's desirable given what we're going for here. What we're going for here, and another thing that I mentioned in my previous video is, these are designed to accelerate really quickly when the wind starts blowing. When the wind stops blowing, I don't really care what it does because the wind's not blowing, right? So point being, I don't really think that we need to waste time or effort or materials to make a flywheel battery to ensure that it keeps spinning because I don't really care if it keeps spinning or not. What I want is efficiency. I want it to do really well when the wind is blowing and if the wind's not blowing, what else can I do? As a side note, to end this quick little video, you can see that I uh, finished up the vein. I, it looks a lot nicer. I'm kind of embarrassed at how bad it looked in my first video. I added a cute little Christopher's factory logo on there. Um, let's see, what else have I changed? I think that's it actually, I think it's just the vein. Um, oh, I did cut off this bolt because this bolt was really long. And uh, if anybody has any ideas or suggestions for a better way to cut a bolt, um, I would love that. I had a hacksaw and that didn't, or a jigsaw and that didn't work, and then I had a hacksaw and it took me probably half an hour to cut this bolt. So if there's a faster way to do that, please let me know. I'm kind of not sure what I want to do with the color scheme yet. The uh, red and purple doesn't quite go together to me. I added this little stabilizer brace down here. It doesn't do a whole lot, but it, it at least keeps the, um, you know, this big tall mount from getting too far uh, bent one way or another. Um, mounting situation, we still got some work to do. I don't know, it's, it's one of those things that it's not the most important or most pressing thing, so I end up just kind of putting it on the back burner, um, doing other things. But anyway, I could rant about windmills forever, you guys know me. But anyway, that's about it for this video. It was a good comment. I, I really, I don't wanna seem like I'm just ragging on this guy. It's a really, really good idea. Um, and I love the thinking. And he is correct, he or she, sorry, uh, is correct in thinking that that would definitely smooth out the spinning. Um, it's just that I don't, uh, and again, I, you know, I could be wrong. Maybe I should just try it out rather than, rather than sitting here and saying, I don't think your idea would work. Maybe I should just do it. Maybe that'll be my next video, who knows. But anyway, thank you for letting me uh, just sit here and rant to you on my dark balcony for another 10 minutes about windmills. Hope you have a great day and uh, go build a windmill and send it to me.